Hi everybody, this is Steve. Uh, I uh, thought I'd give you a, a little bit of a video for as part of my presentation this week on um, alternative power systems for cars. Uh, it's a little hard to show this in a PowerPoint presentation, so I thought a video might be a little bit better for you. Uh, this is a 1995 Volkswagen Jetta. I converted it about four years ago to 100% electric. And so uh, let's take a quick tour. Uh, what you're seeing back here is really the heart of the system. Uh, this is what makes the whole car work. It's um, the battery pack. So I started, when I started this project, it was golf cart batteries, um, but ask me, I upgraded it to lithium iron phosphate. So what you're seeing here are 45 3.2 volt cells, all tied together in series with these bus bars. Um, in addition, they have uh, these little small wires which are tied to a battery management system. There's both thermal couples as well as voltage monitoring that goes to the battery management system and then there's this Hall effect uh, current sensor. So that is kind of the brains of the operation is making sure that all the batteries stay healthy and happy. Uh, we don't overcharge them, don't undercharge them because there's a lot of money right there and so we have to make sure that uh, stays healthy all the time. Uh, right here you're seeing a kind of fuse right in the middle of the pack. Uh, that's there for safety. If uh, I was in an accident or if I happened to drop a tool on, on this battery pack, that would blow to ensure that, um, that no energy is released. Uh, lithium iron phosphate is a very stable chemistry. It doesn't start fires um, like others, and that, that's why it makes a really good uh, battery for uh, conversions like this. Over here is the charger. This, is, um, this charger is great because it can work on both 220 as well as 110 volts. And so uh, when I'm at home, I plug it in at... at 220 volts, but if I'm out driving around and I need a little extra charge, I can plug it into any old normal uh, battery. Over here, assuming the old receptacle, over here is the DC to DC. This converts the 144 volt DC pack to 12 volts, and so that drives the main uh, battery as well as all the other components. Let's walk around to the front uh, real quick. Here's where it charges in. This is my plug for 120 volts. I also happen to have a cable that will convert that to 110 volts. So. Uh, let's take a walk around and I'll show you the, the motor. What you're hearing there is uh, the vacuum pump. There's a vacuum pump which runs the brakes. Uh, this is the main drive motor underneath the, the, the car. It's kind of hard to see from above, so I thought, well, I'll just show you underneath. This is the original manual transmission. Uh, probably the interesting about, thing about this is uh, there's no clutch because you don't really need a clutch uh, on a car like this. The motor has... Uh, you know, not a lot of inertia like a regular engine would, and so the synchros will automatically spin the motor to the right speed to enable uh, shifting. If I go up and show you uh, the top of the car, uh, what you're hearing there again is the vacuum pump that runs the brakes. Uh, here is the main controller. This is a Zilla controller. Uh, it's been out on the market for quite a while, but it's really dedicated primarily to the do-it-yourself market. And so, uh, main power comes in over here. Yeah, it's a um, uh, IGBT-based uh, uh, electronics, so it's pulse width modulating uh, DC down to the motor down there. Uh, what you're seeing up here, up on top, is actually the believe it or not, the air conditioning motor. It requires a 5 horsepower motor just to run the air conditioning compressor. Actually, that's the project I've been working on this year. Uh, other things to note, I guess up in the front of the car, there's also um, a small pump which runs uh, water through a, a little radiator. I guess it's kind of hard to see down there. That's the compressor uh, for cooling the controller. So uh, that's the car. Those are the details. Let's uh, do a quick drive, and I'll just show you what it looks like and feels like driving down the road. So uh, when I start out the car, it's always ready to drive. I can start in third gear because uh, you don't, an electric motor unlike an engine has full torque right from the beginning. So I really only use third and fourth gear. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the gas pedal. As you can tell it's pretty quiet, as you'd expect it would be. And then when I shift, I can simply just pull it out and then push it into another gear and it just shifts that easy. Uh, one thing quick I wanted to show you is up on my dash, what you see I have there is uh, an Android phone that is talking to the battery management system via Bluetooth uh, over OBD2 link. So uh, this is it. That's the car. Um, if you got any questions, by all means, uh, let me know in the discussion boards. And uh, glad I had a chance to show it to you. Thanks.